Let's check out what is in my Magic EDC tin. Hello everyone, Yin Hao here. Despite the title, this video is more of a fun creative exercise or challenge. These are not necessarily my EDC that I carry every day or even necessarily effects that I have worked or performed together in a set. I have however played with all of these effects and I just wanted to see if I can come up with a set that can all fit into a tin to potentially carry around if I wanted to in the event that I am in a situation where I want to perform something quick. This video is inspired by a post by Matthew G. Miller over at the EDC Magic Facebook group as well as those numerous EDC Altoid survival tin videos. This is the tin I am using. I live in Malaysia and the ever popular Altoids tins are just about impossible to find here in Southeast Asia unless someone buys them from the USA and sends them to me or I purchase these generic tins online. So, this is the Hudson's Umentor Jujubees tin. The tin measures 10 cm or 4 inches wide and 5 cm or 2 inches tall. It is a little shorter but wider than an Altoids tin. Let's check out what is in my Magic EDC tin. First up, I have a TT. I don't want to be accused of exposure, so in place of an actual TT is this. You all know what a TT does. We won't discuss whether the TT is overexposed or not in this video. I have a silk streamer, but you can replace it with a dollar bill. Next is a pack of rubber bands and the Stargazer by Alan Wong. This in my opinion is one of the best rubber band effects on the market. I have a couple of pedal effects. This is the Amazing Jumping Arrow by Mark Yang. This is a fun effect where the little arrow jumps around, hence the name. I also have a set of color changing knives. These are the TCC Artistic Color Changing Knives. They are very nice looking knives. The scales are just smooth so you can't tell one color from the other by feel. They have these Damascus pattern blades. They are priced a little on the high side but they are pretty good overall. I'll leave the link to the full review at the end of this video. The color changing knives may not be everyone's cup of tea. Another excellent object to include in this case is a big lighter. If you have the Gaff Lighter project from Adam Wilbur or Branded, both of which I do not have, but if you get rid of the knives, the lighter fits nicely. This length of chain here is for fast and loose. This is a fun gambling or scam type effect which you can perform. If you are not familiar with fast and loose, Paul V. Hill has some work on this as well as a DVD from the School of Scoundrels. I have a ring for the ring and string. I swap the velvet cord for a ribbon. The ribbon works just as well and also doubles as the ribbon for the Charming Chinese Challenge. Here I have 4 coins for Troy Hooser's Charming Chinese Challenge. Any coin magic would fit nicely in an EDC magic tin. You could have 4 coins and a total, a CSB set, hopping half and so on. I chose the CCC as the ribbon can also be used for the ring and string routine. This set is from Vanishing Ink. However, I don't really recommend this particular set because of what is written on them. The wording on the coin says, Xiao Shi Ying Bi, which literally means vanishing coins. It might not be much of a problem anywhere else, but if you are like me and perform for people who can read Mandarin Chinese, I feel that it would be like performing magic with a deck of playing cards that says magic cards on them. A nice set is the TCC brass coin set that includes a turtle, but I do not have it at the moment to show you. However, the CCC as an everyday carry is highly recommended. This is the original Keymaster by Craig Petty. I do not have any of the newer versions like the Chrome ones or the most recent release from Penguin Magic which I believe the keys are slightly shorter and easier to handle. Lastly, I have a business card. The Hudson's tin that I have, unlike an Altoids tin, cannot take credit card size cards. 
So something like Inner Circle or any credit card type effects or business card effects won't be able to fit in the case. Regular business cards would have to be trimmed down or folded. You could write a free will prediction on this using some of the objects from the tin, like the coin, the ring, the lighter or your watch. Some effects like the Charming Chinese Challenge, the Bill Switch and Free Will can play quite big. Feel free to drop any suggestions in the comments on what else would you include in an EDC Magic Tin. Also check out my reviews on some of the items shown in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.